All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Nick, also known as Touch Ninja, and I welcome to you to Ninja Gaming Weekly for April 1st, 2013. Happy April Fool's Days. Uh, hopefully, you guys got a long weekend. Um, possibly, most likely three, possibly even four days off, which is pretty awesome. Um, there will be no April Fool shenanigans in this video. Everything will be straight up for you guys and uh, honest and nothing of the BS that you will expect from regular... Uh, youtubers on April Fool's Day um, first things first I want to address is just updates on the series uh, Bioshock Infinite I finished the third day it came out I got completely I, I basically dived in face first into that game and didn't get any air for three full days I finished that game uh, the entire series is 40 parts long uh, it's either gonna be finished upload tomorrow or the day after um, finished Gears of War ju uh, Judgment, and that is done and uploaded, and we resumed LEGO City Undercover. That series went on a mini hiatus just because of Bioshock. Uh, I don't like jumping back and forth between games. I like to finish one game first and then move on to finishing another game. Uh, I think that's the best way to make sure that you keep your completion rate pretty high. So it's hard to bounce back and forth between a whole bunch of games. It's nice to record a huge chunk and then put that game aside for a while and then record another game then eventually get back to the first game. But ideally, I like to finish one game first. Um, it was actually been a crazy 2013. I actually looked at my list of video games that I've done and uh, between January and the end of March, there were 15 game series, video game series that were started on the channel, 13 of which are done. Uh, the only ones that aren't done are Metal Gear Solid 4, which I will be resuming either Thursday or Friday. I'm going to try to beat LEGO City Undercover first, and then LEGO City Undercover is the second game that I have not yet finished uh, this year. My goal for uh, 2013 is to maintain 100% Let's Play completion rate. I'm going to try to complete everything that I start. Uh, I think I didn't do as good of a job last year as I would have liked. I think I bordered around the 90% range. Um, so Metal Gear Solid 4 will be back. Let it go City Undercover will be back as well. And uh, one of the series that will be back is the Resident Evil 6 Ada Wong campaign. What I'm going to do is I'm either going to post like an hour long video or half hour long episodes of that series uh, just to get it done. Uh, thank you for all of those Resident Evil fans that have uh, patiently waiting. You probably watched some other series already, which I don't mind. I completely understand. I'm taking a long time to complete it, but I will get it done uh, either next week at some point. Um, just on some personal matters, um, I'm actually I'm feeling a little bit sick uh, and a little bit tired as well. Probably have to do with sickness uh, just because of been staying up late playing video games even I did even though I did take this weekend off um, my voice is starting to go uh, but luckily it's going at a good time once the video game rush is over um, just on some other personal matters I will give you guys more of an update and the reason why for this in a future vlog uh, but at the very beginning of May uh, to May 13th I will be away from the channel completely um, I will try to upload and pre-upload some videos before I leave, uh, but I will basically not have internet where I'm going for two weeks in that two-week frame at the very beginning of May. Um, I am leaving uh, for family personal matters, um, which cannot be helped right now. Uh, once again, it's uh, pretty much set in stone that I'm leaving for those two weeks. Uh, once again, I'll give you guys more of an update a little bit later. Personally, I'm fine. It's just some family issues that have to be um, addressed in the future. Uh, but once again, more info on that later on. Um, next thing is fan mail. I I have my I got four letters in my four letters from my um, in my fan mail box that I opened for you guys. Um, you can always find the the P.O. box or the mailing address to send me fan mail on my channel. Uh, it is addressed to a UPS store, uh, so it's not actually my personal address, uh, but I periodically get stuff delivered there and pick up mail from you guys. So if you guys have fan mail, uh, feel free to send it to me uh, right there. That's the address. Once again, you can always find this one, uh, this address on the channel. Uh, this one is from actually from Germany, uh, from I'm assuming it's a girl named Nina. Uh, 
So her last name is Bertolino. So uh, I'm not. I'm sorry if I completely slaughter the pronunciations of your name. Uh, but this one's from Nina from Germany. So let's take a look at what she wrote me. Uh, hello, Tetra Ninja. Here's some fan mail from Germany for you. Just wanted to tell you that you are really great and I enjoy watching your videos. I discovered your channel after Ghost Robo st <laughs> stopped doing his Skyward Sword walkthrough in addition to some others I would like to see finished. Uh, there are a lot of things I could appreciate when it comes to your work. Uh, ex example, completion rate, consistency, enjoyability of commentary, and so on. Surely there are a lot of people like you telling this stuff. What I really appreciate, appreciate on top of that is your ambition to not use strong language, at least in some games like Zelda or Mario. After I noticed this, I let my daughter join me in watching those walkthroughs, which, uh, which she still preferred over any other activity which caused one or two arguments. And we had some fun. Uh, so thank you, Nina from Germany. Oh. There's more. It's time to get it, especially of the Lego Lord of the Rings walkthrough, and Lego is a big thing with her. Anyways, I didn't mean to steal too much of your time. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, kind regards uh, to you and your girlfriend and your adorable dog. Hope to see. Hope to hope you can keep up the good work. Uh, so yeah, thank you, uh, Nina from Germany. Um, I what like I said, I'm I tried to my, do my best. I know I'm not always. Um, I can't always complete everything that I start. Uh, it's, it's just not possible. Um, but I try my best to try to maintain at least a ninety-five please uh, ninety-five percent completion rate on the channel. So uh, thank you for the kind words. I uh, once again all these all these uh, letters will be uh, nailed to a cork board eventually that I will purchase in the future, so I can have like a collage of. Uh, things that you guys will send me. So yeah, keep sending me in fan mail and I'll show you guys the collage eventually. Uh, this one is from Koswick Talukadar. Uh, this one's from Leeds, German, uh, Leeds United Kingdom. Um, I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> Sorry once again uh, if I completely slaughter your name. I apologize in advance. So let's see what this one says. This one is a drawing. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Kid Goku. It took him 40 minutes to draw this picture. Oh, he drew and then he sent me the photocopy version. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, as you can probably tell by, you can't see it right now, but there's a Dragon Ball Z poster in the background, so... I'm a pretty big Dragon Ball Z fan. Oh, oh, there's a letter attached to it. Yes, uh, I'm gonna try to just skim these ones because you probably guys don't want me to hear me reading the entire letter. But he basically asked if I like the picture that he drew me, and I absolutely do. So thank you. Uh, Greetings from Canada to the United Kingdom. Uh, we are basically bros. <laughs> but thank you very much for the picture. Uh, I will be sure to hang it up on my wall. Uh, next one is from Tommy Wynn. Uh, I can probably tell based on the last name that he is Vietnamese. That is the most common Vietnamese last name that ever existed. <laughs> this one is coming from Australia. A lot of stamps on the front of this. Check out my stamps that are there. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. He drew me a picture of my channel's logo, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I really like this logo a lot. Uh, I needed, I got this is was designed by my graphic designer Evan Eckhard, and uh, he recreated it in a very very suiting fashion so thank you very much and he also sent me a letter oh okay i see so he actually was the person who drew uh the connor picture 
that was included in the last fan mail, um, the last fan mail video that I posted. Uh, he didn't include his name last time, so uh, this time he sent me a picture of my logo. I still have that picture. It's over there. Uh, you can't see it right now, but it's over there sitting on my shelf. Uh, so thank you uh, very, very much for the second letter. Uh, now you got, uh, now I know who actually sent it to me. And our very last one is from Nicole. Uh, this one is also from Germany. It's actually fairly thick, so I'm kind of curious to see what's inside of it. So let's see. Drew me some stick figures. Stick figure images. Some random pictures of ninjas. <laughs> Ninjas and cookies with knives. A ninja cookie. <laughs> yeah, overall general. Generally really cool stuff. Let's see. He plays a lot of FIFA. And he wishes me good luck for the channel and for everything and apologizes for his bad English. <laughs> no problem on the English part. Um, I can understand that I have fans from all across the world and English is not their first language. Um, but yeah, very, very nice letter. Um, very, very good drawings of a sun with a gun. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a more look in-depth look at these pictures eventually. Uh, I'm just trying to speed everything up. So that's all the fan mail for this uh, this episode. If, once again, if you want to send me fan mail, I will be more than willing to open it and check it out. And the last part of this uh, video is to announce the winner of the Bioshock Infinite Ultimate Fan Contest for the Collector's uh, Songbird edition of the game for whatever platform that person who wins wants it on. Um, this was just a general thing that I hit letters throughout the Bioshock series near the start and then you guys descrambled it. And if you're wondering what the word was, the word, once you go and scramble all the letters, was Point Prometheus. And that was a section of the first game from the original Bioshock. It was a level, uh, so... Yeah, uh, I'll probably put like a listing here of all the finalists. Um, one thing I will note is that one, originally it only was supposed to be for 10 people. Uh, the reason why there are 11 names is because uh, one of the entrants, it was actually Don't Call Me Koi. Uh, he, if you guys remember correctly, he was the first person to figure out the Assassin's Creed contest word. And he actually eventually won the contest. Um, but I didn't find it fair that I think it used to be limited to only winning one contest uh, of the one major prize. Um, so I'm I put I'm putting his name into the draw. Uh, but if he ends up winning, what's going to happen is that instead of getting getting the collector's edition of the game, he'll just get a copy of the game, and then I'll redraw the next person to actually win the collector's edition. Once again, I think that it's only fair that you should be limited to one grand prize, which is actually. Funny because he was actually the first one once again to uh, correctly get the phrase Point Prometheus. Uh, he must be really good at Scrabble or something because he's right on that contest thing. Uh, but anyways, so here are the here are the entrants. We have Andres Morales ninety seven or HP Essen. Uh, YouTube does this weird thing where your channel name can be different from your username now. So. Uh, some people have different usernames and different channel names. So, uh, yeah. Second name is Aero Swan. 
Uh, I'm putting it into this Valve baggie from Corsair. <laughs> so if you're wondering where it's going. Uh, the next one is... Karenib... I can't even pronounce this. I'm sorry. But <laughs> that's the third entrance. Uh, fourth one is, once again, don't call me Koi. He will not be eligible for the grand prize, but if I draw him, he will win a copy of the game. Uh, next one is the Flying Red Monkey. Then we have Install Me 321. Then we have Thunder Take You. Then we have Nathan Quima. Then we have Master Gamer 724. And then Grant Shuttler. And then we have the Toxic Team 13. So they are all in the baggies. We'll give the baggie a shake. Okay. And then we will draw our hands in, mix everything up again, and then we will pick one. There we go. The winner of the grand prize of the Bioshock Infinite Slongbird Edition for the giveaway is Install Me 321. So congratulations, Install Me 321. Whatever your real name is, I will be contacting you through YouTube. So check your PMs and you will get the choice of the Songbird edition of Bioshock Infinite on whatever platform you want. And that will finally wrap up Ninja Gaming Weekly. It's been a very long one, 16 minutes. Um, but uh, that will wrap up. So once again, thank you guys again for all the channel support and all the series support. Hopefully you guys are catching up with a backlog of video games if you aren't playing them or if you're not watching them. And I will see you guys next time for Ninja Gaming Weekly or in whatever series of mine you're currently watching. All right, as always, once again, have a fantastic day.